And welcome back to Birth by Sleep. Now we're gonna go to Ben's Radiant Garden. So let's do this. He's not alone, just being quiet. Wait, what now? I, said, I was being quiet, like, he's not alone, I'm just being quiet. <laughs> yeah. Garden Radiant, wait. Kinda... Kinda wish the the, uh... Three characters met up more, like in this world. Yeah. Well, but again, this is really the point where all the characters really have a chance to meet up. Yeah, I suppose. Ooh, so I'm gonna play DuckTales? Oh, hi, Mickey. I love your D-Link. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, most of the time I'm gonna be using his D-Link, just, just for battle, battling in general, because I want to get as much experience as possible. Yeah. So, as soon as Where's enemies pop up, as soon as they pop up, yay! I don't think there's any in this room. Hmm. Oh yeah, we have high jump. I forgot like what we've even gotten. I gotta get enough memory of what we got. I don't think there's any any guys in this room, so. Right, where am I headed? Do I wait? There's another chest over there. Right. I, I do make, like it that like it in the Radiant Garden that they made it so characters have to go to a specific pathway and you can't you can't just go everywhere because otherwise it'll be really obnoxious to get everything with yeah. uh, the characters because you basically have to play the same world three times entirely. Yeah. I mean, like kind of thing with like Ben back in uh, Castle of Dreams is like um, you can't really just memorize where all the treasure chests are though. Yeah. It's like you're playing as Terra or Aqua. Hmm. Oh, I hate this room. Oh yeah, there's a lot of those weird, those things that shoot. Side, like... I think I think they're sidewinders, whatever. Yeah. Whatever they are, those annoying plants. Yeah, I I remember like, hating like, them like as just, well. They just got a pot shot on you. Again. Oh right, I I, I almost forgot. Oh wait a minute, I have Mickey. <laughs> Mustn't forget. It feels like it slows down your attack a little bit though. You're not using Ben. That's another thing, you guys really like to take away your lock on. Hmm. Ow. Because ow, because they're actually in the field the whole time. Yeah, they they're like really good ranged uh have really good ranged uh, weapons and it's like they're just really annoying. They, they just get in the way and you're poisoned. Oh great. Look at that, you're dying. Really, it gets really hectic, like... Oh, yeah, I didn't want to do that. A better face charge than anything, I guess. Maybe we can run over some HP balls. Hmm. There's an Arc Raven. I haven't had enough of these, have we? Really? <laughs> Alright. There's still some guys up there. Yeah. There you go. Indeed. I think that's all down here. Looks like it. Don't see any treasures. Right. Oh, I just noticed, if you look at Mickey's um, thing, he has the Star Shard and he has, um, sta and it has it shows Star Keeper, I think it is. Oh, nice. That's a pretty nice little detail. Yeah, I think it always shows, like, something related to it. What? Unlock twist. It's like unlock twisting owls or something. It said. I don't know what happened though. Why that triggered? Yeah, I don't know why it did. Like, I just walked and it happened. <laughs> Maybe it's playtime. I don't know. Maybe. You're gonna run out of Mickey any second. Oh boy. It's not too hard to get. Oh gosh. And you're poisoned again. You better. Go. Yeah. And there it goes. Now you're getting experience the normal way. For for Mickey, wouldn't it, this game definitely like be like him training for to be a Keyblade Master? I think he's. I think he, I think I think he said he's training more. Yeah, because like like, yeah, it it would make sense why he has the uh, the 
What was that keyblade called again? Like the Star something? Star I think it's called the Star Chaser. Yeah, like the. Uh, it would make sense why he has the Star Chaser here, because like maybe that uh, that was originally Yensid's keyblade. And yeah, he... we talked. I think we talked about that last time. Did we? Uh, Pretty sure we did. I, I I remember saying something about this before, but I don't know if it was in a part. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is what it was. Like the twi This is the uh, thing I got. The twisted arrow. Uh, twisted arrow. This is strike ray. It was like. Pretty much just strike ray, um, uh, pre, uh, BBB BBS. I'm thinking it's more, well, like with the name twisted arrow, it sounds like also on six thumbs. Stop. Hmm. Then again, also think about it. Might have something to do with your keyblade. Hmm. You know, because you're using Struck at Midnight. Yeah, that's true. Like, um... Do, Cause, like, do I don't you... know what triggers the stuff, I can I can look it up. Yeah, because I'm wondering, like, that would be cool if, like, different Keyblades are different finishes and stuff. Um, uh, yeah. Because I, we, I think we know for a fact, like, in Kingdom Hearts 3, every Keyblade has a different uh, transformation, which is... Which I think is really cool, because it gives people more of a reason to switch different keyblades out other than just strength and magic. That just kind of reminds me in uh, in, in um, Final Fantasy IX, a nice thing, and what they do with the weapons is, um, the, each of the, each we oh, and your equipment, they have skill, they have like skills and stuff, and spells attached to them and stuff. Mm. Once you, once you, as you're using it to gain AP, and once you gain enough, you permanently learn it, so you can switch your equipment. Oh, nice. So mm -hmm. it's like, uh, um, leveling up, um, a a command a command ability that has like what second chance or something and then once you like level that up fully you can just replace like replace it with something else and you still have the ability more or less you're, the only thing is you're stuck using that until then if you want to keep it yeah oh yeah see, it doesn't hook that oh nice that's pretty cool actually I like that that's one of the best that's probably the best finisher we've had so far. So it does so much damage and it stops time. Well, for the enemies anyway. Alright, uh, I think we're good. I'm just trying to figure out what does it. Like, what's the good finishers? Alright. Is there any boss coming up? Um, no, I think it's the cut. I think I think it's the cutscene and then a bunch of enemies. Alright. Oh, these guys. I'm more worried about the guy on the left. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. The guy on the right, we, we, can, we can ignore for now. Mm. Okay, there is a list here. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, man trees, and look at Ben. Oh wow, it goes on for a while. They're here. Um. Well, it's saying that it, it gives me a reference list. I'm not sure when it triggers though. Hmm. No, I'm looking at the cage, Wiki. Uh, let's see. Activate, see, activate Firestorm command eight times and twenty, twelve times. Earn, earn, earn twenty-two thousand CPs. Yeah, it's not giving me exactly. Oh, hi there. Yeah. Actually, it might be. Okay, wait. Oh, I think I see, but it's gonna take a while for me to learn to understand it. Let's see. Well, I think you have to be like using the. Chain. I'm not sure if you have to keep using the chain in order to move on to the next part of it, right? Hmm. Like you look on the list, you see like finish is always on the far left, right? Right. I'm not sure if you had to keep that on and then max that out in order to, and well, keep that on to, in order to get to the next two, all the other free commands on it. Huh. But it, it seems that, well, we had Twisted Hours on here. It, it, apparently, um, if we keep that out, we might get Surprise 2. Right. Hmm. Well, let me see, let me see how to get the Surprise 2. Alright then. Uh, let's see, reference 19. Let's see, Surprise 2, quest 200 money. 
Oh, one of them says to use the effect of second chance once more to survive lethal damage. I'm not sure if we can use that. Oh, but that's, uh, anyone can use that. It's, it's something called heal strike. Hmm. It's 8,000 steps. It's one of them. <laughs> but these, if we be willing to get that one, is the experience walker. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. It's too well as a result. I love how Tornado Strike pretty much guarantees me to go into the uh, fever pit fever pitch. Well, I, I think well that's just that's just Ventus is basically critical impact. Yeah. Oh, you, I think it's the way that I can wear off. you gonna dart forward. No, it, feel, it's, it feels like it's a lot easier to get into uh, fever pitch than critical impact. Well, we get we we'll keep using magic as Terra. There we go. Yeah. You know, we just, yeah. just yeah. don't want to use magic. I'm not getting in there. Which is which is funny because the magic is in his strong suit. Yeah, well we want well he has a lot of weird magic that actually was pretty useful. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. I've been to some verse down here. Not sure. Oh, here we go. Good call. Yeah, it's really weird how close we are to the save point. Yeah. That. This area wouldn't be like a place I'd expect Unverse to pop up. At the top of the staircase, I can see it. Mm. Yeah, that that, like, one, that makes more sense. Yeah. But like, I I kind of expect like areas where there's a save point to not have Unverse there. But yeah. yeah. Oh. Here. You will not survive. Yeah. You will join your brethren. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Let's see, I'm trying to remember if we fight anyone after Trinity Armor. I don't think we fight the Nidus right here. Hmm. I think I think it's just Trinity Armor and we go. Well, after we um meet up with we have to find Trinity Armor, do a few running around, and then there we go. I think. Yep. Uh, almost got... And there's these guys again, look out! Oh, now I can get it. Now I can do it again. Okay. Yep. Yes. I can be using this a lot. Sorry if it gets annoying, but hey. Well, the only thing that's really annoying is the fact that it can't be paused unless we, if we switch it in. Hmm. This is, a, this is a pretty cool, like, mini game kind of uh, special. What the, what, the tape charge? Yeah. It oh, goes. Like it it, it kind of activates a bit too soon, though, in my opinion, but still. Random thing. Yeah, I, I don't understand why they put that there. Did we look at. Did we find. Did we look up there for treasure chests? For treasure chests? Yeah. Oh, that was our teleport, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I uh, found all the treasure chests here. If if not, we can always like look around again and check. Well, we, we got we got a few to go find back in uh, Enchanted Dominion. Oh yeah. We only have sixty eight percent of the stuff there. Mm. I, I can't I'm not sure if I really care too much because that that seems like it would just take really long and, and be annoying. Why? Well, well, we know what room they're in. Yeah, they're in that big maze room, but yeah, it's just a pain to navigate that. I guess we can show off a treasure list when we, if we want to do it off screen. I suppose, yeah. And then hopefully they're all in that one room so it'll be easy for us to explain. And then it turns out there's like one just somewhere in a corner. Yep. I'm not sure what the point of leveling up your commands though is like high jump. Mm. I think it just makes you a little bit like, it just makes you jump a little bit higher but I'll, I can't I think... Yeah, I can't think of anything else that would work. I think you can meld them, but don't quote me. Oh, hmm. But I think you can only meld them when they're unequipped. Okay, then. And Mickey is gone. And there's a sticker. It's locked tight. We have a, I, I wonder if we had a giant key. Oh, man. Yeah. 
I do like I the as a weapon like as impractical as it would be in real life, I do like I do like it for like just what it is. I think it's a cool weapon. What the keyblade? Yeah, in general, not not like the X blade or whatever, but like just in general, that kind of weapon. That thing looks goofy. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you grip it? I mean, hmm? the X blade. Where do you grip it? Oh uh, yeah. Cause like it looks like it would just kill your wrist. It's heavy. Yeah. It's like you look at Vanitas. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> you. Oh, I may as well. Whatever. What, whatever. Yeah, I, I may as well finish. Like, you look at Vanitas holding it, and you, you're just like, how is that comfortable, man? Video game. Yay. Yeah, I, I try not to think too much about it. I'm not, I'm not Joey. Because like, <laughs> well, trying Joey's to think. For comedy reasons. Yeah, trying to think. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, same here, pretty much. Like, if I try thinking way too hard about how a video game weapon wor would work in real life. I'll just get myself a headache. Oh, look at this. That kills a master. <laughs> Screws bounce on him already. <laughs> Unless the boss got away and then ran to the other side to now Riku has to fight it. Just hold your horses. I didn't mean the fortune. He's like, come on already, come on already. <laughs> could you make it's like, it? It's kind of interesting, like, they're not supposed to talk about the meddling thing. They're like, he, he knows. <laughs> I forget where he's from again. I know, I know in the way in the, like Duckburg and all that, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Imagine if we actually went to Duckburg. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Every day they're out there making yeah, duck tails. Woo! <laughs> uh. Oh man, I love that. I love that song. <laughs> Dogtail still holds up, like, the cartoon and all that. Huh? Like, it's still fun to watch. Huh? Take two adults. This <laughs> is... Yes, game, we know we're meant to go that way. Kinda of funny, he just disappears off screen. Is this screw still around here? Uh, no. It doesn't look like it. I don't think there's going to be any other first tier either. Angle and background. Let's go this way. What's next on our agenda? Well, the shop's over here. I right, think we got to get time. You know what I mean? Junior Harmon has decided not to go anywhere. <laughs> Well, around. I mean, remember what happened with Kingdom Kingdom Hearts 2? He's the fight. Merlin's gonna be the fight. The secret boss in Kingdom Hearts 3. Wait, <laughs> that would be amazing. Probably be annoying. <laughs> like hitting you with like the best spells. Like not even, not even Final Fantasy spells. Like, hitting you with Shin Megami Tensei spells. <laughs> you get hit by Thunder Rain. You can't move for like ever. Seriously, I think you cheat some of the bosses. Yeah. I love doing that in the gym in uh, Persona 3 at Portable. I just I just remember that thing you and Nick showed me last night. That... Oh, you're, you're talking about the Him Daisy comic? Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh. Guess what, folks? We're trying to get him in the Persona now. Yeah. I mean, if you if you want to explain the that a little bit, you can. Well, it's hard to explain. The, the funny thing is about the Him Daisy comic video is not all of it is completely nonsense. Hmm. I, I'm, I'm not kidding. <laughs> but the story is a lot more deeper than you think. It's, all, it's very deep, right? Hmm. Lots to think about. Atlas is good at that kind of stuff. 
<laughs> You'll love the soundtrack too, because I've already shown you. I remember showing you a couple of the songs already. Yeah. Yeah, you. At one point, you just spammed me like it's Persona music. Yeah, it just kept bringing you stuff in Persona 4 Arena. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Merlin. Bye. You can give me my three. Oops.